Today we're going to discuss good exposure, underexposure, and overexposure. On this screen, there are three different exposure examples. At the very top, you will see an underexposure. At the bottom, you'll see a split between good exposure and overexposure. What you'll see is that when you have not exposed your screen long enough, more than what you intended will wash out or will feel slimy. What you will see for a good exposure is that exactly what you want to wash out will wash out. What you will see with an overexposure is that you will have to spend more time trying to wash out. Now I'll show you how to wash out. We'll take our hose and we'll spray it into the screen. As you can see, up here, we had an underexposure. The Liger's face washed out. Down here, we had a good exposure where what we wanted of the Liger's face was maintained. Here, you can see there's a bit of an overexposure where his tail did not completely wash out. This is an example of how under, over, and perfect exposure works. <laughs>